day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Toward people that you perceive or been identified, love them because that's what he wants us to do. You, does that make sense then? Is that rephrasing? And 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 I'm trying to say that that's what not just to you, to to all the hearers that may listen. Let's change our mode of how we approach life. Let's approach it the way Christ did it. And if we can do that, then we can eliminate all this other type of intolerance that comes in our life. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I was thinking that it's something that, that started out with good intentions kind of kind of fell by the wayside, you know, it became such a cliche. Um you remember what would what would Jesus do? Yeah, I remember that, yeah. You know, and 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 yeah, man. <laughs> that was that, that that's what it's all about. It, 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 it's right. The problem. I don't know what happened to that. I don't know how the world grabbed a hold of that and just blew it out of the water and made it a muck, you know, made a muck and a mockery out of that. But uh, but the bottom line, that that is a foundation that we need to be applying. What would you do? Well, you know, you know what? Though, let me let me interrupt you. You know, we don't teach people what he would do. No. If you don't teach what he would do, how do how do you, you left it up to the person to to think? To, to think yes, sir. Their own interpretation. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, it requires knowing Jesus. Exactly. Oh, come on now, brother. <laughs> know what he would do. Yes. Like my wife know what I would do in situations. <laughs> exactly. So that's why I think we're called to know. She, she don't know everything uh -huh. because, you know, my mind has been renewed constantly. So obviously those characteristics that she may just know without a doubt that I'm going to respond in such a way, yes. it doesn't happen that way. Uh, thank God. Exactly. And that's what I think when Jesus said earlier, what memory is in prayer and fasting? You know, yeah. really... Prayer is communicating with God and hearing God's word, studying God's word. That now you know what Jesus would do. We know, and I listen to everybody out there in this in this in that media that's listening, that will listen. We know that a lot of people don't study, and we try. That's why we that's why we got scripture stand up on the screen all the time. Because that's what we want people to get the word. What does the word? If you want to know what Jesus would do. Hey, look at the words we're putting up on the screen. You know what I mean? Yeah. What would you, but that's why I'm just saying that what happened on, that's what happened on that is that people didn't know what Jesus would do. And that's what the Bible said that the whole purpose of the fivefold ministry is what? Equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. We sit there and put a catchy phrase out there, but we failed to do what? We failed to, to to equip them to do what Jesus would do. Well, I mean, we we also we 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 got our bases, and the the the, the church is teaching the members to do the work of the ministry of the church of the church, <laughs> not the ministry of, of of Christ. Come on now. Come on! So you get in there and they'll teach you how to be a good church member. <laughs> and that's what you're being taught. Oh, Lord, help uh, in, in a lot of cases. Yeah. But if if you're being taught to go out and minister the gospel, you're kind of taking the the the, the light off of the ministry. <laughs> You know, which it should be. Yeah. So, uh, and that's concern, ain't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the concern, isn't it? Taking you yeah. off of, you see, yeah. I, I need them in the building opposed to I need them in Christ. <laughs> yeah. And, so, and it's not, 
is 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 more so putting them in Christ, but it's taking the thunder from the, the you know from inside the church to yeah. outside of the church. You know, it's like we've got this twisted thing that the power of God is only inside of a congregation. Yeah. Only inside of a building. When it's always inside the, the individual. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, the power is within that individual. And when that individual leaves, it should be empowered to do the work of ministry. So yes. there should be a, a, a faith mm -hmm. applied in Christ that you share it out into the world. Yes, sir. And expect the fruits to 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 expect to to to, uh, to draw me in. Yes, sir. So that is is what what this is all about. It is not about going to a, a sanctuary. No, no. And getting message to make you feel good or to make you uh, more adapted to this world and this world system mm, mm, mm. you know that, that is not the purpose of this no the purpose is to reach those who are lost yes sir that, that is what we're here to do and in doing that it requires you to renew your mind so that you know who you are come on brother <laughs> and the purpose that you have Woo. You're, sitting there and you're giving praises and glory and honor towards an individual, that individual is going to get messed up. Yes, sir. Or you can handle that. Yeah. Yeah. Faith could not handle that. Nope. And he's in the position that he's in. Yes, sir. Because, of, because the praises and all the glory and honor was being sent toward his direction, but to God. But to God, and they, and they missed it, right? Exactly. Well, past him to Come God, on. On. It, it passed him, but he just started accepting it and wanted that yeah. glory and honor for himself. Yeah. And so if Satan couldn't resist, yeah, yeah, then he was doing it so yeah. you know. That that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That it, it's 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 obviously affecting us as a, a body of Christ, not a church, yes. but a body. Yeah. Because we're we're being restricted to a location. Yes, sir. Which is a building. Yes, sir. It's not what this is about. No. This is about reaching this world. Yes, sir. The world is not tied up in a building. Yes, sir. It's really not. And uh, the perfecting of the saints. Come on. Come on, brother. Come you on. Know, there, there's something there's something awry in this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, I, I, man, I remember a time where you saw folk on soapboxes. Uh-huh. <laughs> hearing the gospel on the corners of the street. In the ghetto, in the crime ridden area, just crying out to these people, you know, even though they were preaching fire and brimstone, they were still reaching some people. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, just a quick side, I was, I was out in Louisiana visiting my niece, and we went down to uh, the old, old district. And uh, you know, down on Bill Street and stuff, and I was just looking around first time down there, and I saw some young men uh I wanna say preaching the gospel, okay. but they weren't. They were not? Okay. They weren't preaching the gospel. But they were they were they were doing the work of the ministry. Mm. They they were they were a little off in their message in their presentation because it wasn't the gospel that was coming out. You know what I'm saying? About the ministry. So there, there, there was there was uh, there was no fruit of the spirit 
and what was being put out there. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There was more accusation. There was more uh, uh, fire and brimstone being taught. I mean, being being proclaimed. Yeah. And they, they, you know, the the there was kindness. You know, they were presenting it in a kind way, <laughs> and they were peaceful. Okay. You know, they weren't going after nobody physically, but you know there was no gentleness, no there, there was no love for those individuals in the state that they were in. Yes, sir. So people were just walking by them, <laughs> not hearing, <laughs> yeah. you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. Just wondering, you know, and I sat there and I watched them. Just to, just to see because I, I admired their boldness. Yes, sir. To, to do that. And, but. Point toward Jesus. I think a lot but, of people, he was funny with the same, the same thought, I was like, man, who am I to look down at them? At least they're attempting. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Am I speaking to these people in this crowd? Right. I guess the question was. Was you hearing more of the gospel being preached or the direction people were going, which is they, they know where they're going. A lot of cases, you know where they're going to hell. You know they're going to the direction of hell, but how are we gonna point toward Jesus? That's the that's the key, right? Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. So point toward Jesus. And even in ministries, it's funny with I like the I like the concept and structure that the ministries have with I like what I would bring out with the greeters. Remember they they like they want to say they want to create that atmosphere of togetherness. You, you, you ever notice that? First you'll get greeters come in and greeters will hug you, say how you doing, and you know, welcome. So you're feeling welcome, right? Which is good. That's good because that's what Christ is trying to say. But we're welcome into the kingdom. Jimmy will tell you that. We you know, in other words, it's not welcome to this ministry. Welcome to the kingdom. Yeah. See, in this, in this ministry, we preach in the kingdom. In this ministry, we greet you because we're greeting you into the kingdom. And then when, when the congregation comes together, you remember they said, hug your neighbor. Hug the neighbor to your right or to your left. Because that's what we do in the kingdom. And then, and then what I want y'all to know is, though, take that out there. See, what we, we I think sometimes the ministries try to make it seem where this is here. Yeah. Where the kingdom is opposed to saying what we want you to do in here, we want you to take it out there. Yeah, but see the problem with that is you can go buy a car and get that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You can go into a uh <laughs> car sale, uh, a car lot. Ooh! You get that. Yes, yeah, yeah. You go into a restaurant and get that. Wow. And they, and they took that pattern because that is how you can be effective in a business, right? We need to be able to say, though, is that because this is how the kingdom is, you know? this is These, these are the characteristics of the kingdom. That's what I'm just saying. It's just to be able to get that frame of mind. I understand about the car and the dealership because they have greeters and, you know, all that to make the customer. The customer's right, always right. Well, you know, the difference between the dealer and businesses and the kingdom is Jesus is always right. God the Father is always right. You know, the Holy Spirit is always right. You need to renew your mind. Look at that. See the difference now? There's a different model, right? I'm yeah. telling you to renew your mind to the things of God. Amen? Uh, hey, Jimmy, you want to read that next slide if you want to? I ain't hear from you. I hear you you absorb it. Throw, throw some in there if you want to. I, I got these slides up if you want to comment on them. You're welcome to. He's coming off of mute. Come in. Look at he's going to come off of mute. He, he, he's thinking, or he may be looking at something that's different. Hey, Jimmy, talking to you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hey, brother. 
Can't hear you. You couldn't hear him? I heard him. You heard him? I saw the light flash. I didn't hear him, though. Yeah, I heard him. He said he's listening. Okay, you just listening? Okay. Okay, well, anointed man of God again. Uh, go ahead and get this. Take, let's cover these slides, these verses. Okay. Ephesians. With all, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Yes, sir. One another in love. Yes, sir. That's another. That, just, I'm just trying to show some characteristics of patience and all the other, some of the fruits of the spirit. And love is one of those things in there. What about Corinthians, Colossians? Colossians. Strengthened with all might. Come on. His, his glorious power. I think that H should be capitalized just in this person. Yes, sir. With all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Yes, sir. Yeah, did you know that? Look at they put the two words. The two words both be the same, aren't they? Patience and long suffering. Yeah. You see, they put them in that in that sentence for that one. Uh, are they the same? Huh? Are they the same? Well, let's 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 bring that. Uh, let me bring that concordance up on that one. Uh, that's interesting. I just caught that. I, so I figured maybe I should take a look at it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. let me do it. That's uh, Colossians 1, 11. I'm going to bring it up in a minute. I'm just trying to get to it first. Okay. Let me see if I can move it over. Can you see it come Oh, Is it covering the screen? Can you see it? No. Okay. I think I'm about to do it this way. One second. Then share it. I thought sometimes you can put it on that screen. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna give it a go to the concordance on it in a second. But there's the uh, scripture, eleven, right there. All right, so now I'm gonna change it to the concordance one. I gotta bring it up. That's interesting. I want to see what they, why they had two different verses there. Different words. I, I think they're completely different to be honest with you. But it got two different coordinates na numbers too. You see this one? One is six, one is G5281, and the other one is G3115. Yeah. So let's see what they say. I'm gonna go with the first one, patience. Uh it got endurance, constancy. Enduring again, enduring, patience, patient, continuance with the bracket of waiting. All right. But it's not of cheerful or hopeful. Endurance. Now, the next one. It said the same as G3116. Lama, look at that word. You ever heard that word before? <laughs> Can you see it? Logamimini. Logamimini. I know. <laughs> that's always like a that's like a creative word or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is objective, forbearance, or subjectively. Fortitude, and see you see the word again. Long suffering and patience are is are in, in that particular uh, translation. Long amenity. Where the other one start off is joyfulness. I'm just trying to figure what the. I, I really think it's just those two words again: patience and long suffering. Right. Yeah. Let me look up that word. Yeah. Are you looking at what which word? The actual uh oh, Okay. <laughs> that is uh is a word with a long history. It came to English. Okay, uh the meaning patience. Okay. Long suffering. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I guess the translator said 
This, this long suffering. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. In other words, the translator, <clears throat> the translator had to sit there and put the, both of those words are synonymous to one another, right? Yeah. It's, it's uh, prolonged suffering. Yeah. With extreme patience. Extreme patience. Okay. Uh, suffering. Yeah. Added to it. They were talking, they likened it to Job. Hmm. You look at Job. That is uh, what they're what they're getting at. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Long suffering. Well, the other one is yeah, that. So I guess that's why the translator did that, because the patience. You can have patience and not be suffering. Yeah, it doesn't just. Yeah, this one is we got endurance, but right, it doesn't have suffering in it, does it? Yeah, because I mean, patience is one thing, but if you're suffering. That means don't give up because you're suffering. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That that I think that makes sense. One one is the, I'm actually going. I am suffering. Well, you know, with Jesus. But see, I'm just looking at what with Jesus said, right? So is that implied what Jesus said? How long would I suffer? How long would I suffer? <laughs> so suffering doesn't necessarily mean pain, then, right? Uh, not necessarily. You see what I'm saying? He said that, you know, in the script we read, read earlier, he said, how long did I put up, did it really be how long I put up with <laughs> being around this faithless, perverse generation? <laughs> I mean, that's a strong word, perverse, right? <laughs> Like I said, man, he didn't miss the word. I mean, he, he was with me. Man, when I, when I go back and I look at some of the things that he said, I mean, I'm like, wow, this this dude here. Oh, he yeah. Punches. He did not hold any punches. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I like that one when he said, and say, your father's the devil. Yeah. Or, or Isaiah prophesied well about you. <laughs> Hypocrites <laughs> in your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was prophesied well when, when he talked about you hypocrites. Wow. Man, that, that right there was when my eyes were open. I was like, man, Jesus was playing with you folks, man. Exactly, exactly. A lot of cases we a lot of cases we think of uh hearing Jesus talk is more of that what serene you know <laughs> but obviously there were some tones and some of those things but it, but it, what i always interested though is that it was never from my perspective uh going after the the what we call the centers yeah it was, yeah. It, was it was toward the people like i think you said it very good the people who knew what they're supposed to have done yeah, the people who were who were administering the law, yeah, the ones who were in charge of the ones who were equipped, yeah, equipped the law, yeah, yeah. You know, why would he come for them? <laughs> they know, <laughs> they know, <what's> going. <laughs> yeah, they know it. Oh man, and well, then you said, it, like you said, it, with the blind man, you know. You're, you're blind, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be blind. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm showing you the way. But for these jokers right here who think they already get, they look, they seen the, they already said they see the light. They they can see, you know, and, and, and yet they can't see. That's interesting. Yeah. And, and that's what I want to make sure if, hey, those are listening today, it's just, just, it better to just just focus on should always focus on the foundation jesus christ and what jesus talked about the kingdom just the kingdom what's going on in the kingdom how does the kingdom operate and we got to understand we're ambassadors aren't that's what we're supposed to be ambassadors for christ 
I'm not ambassador for a particular ministry. I'm ambassador for Christ. Yeah. Amen. All right. Then yeah. what's the next? What's the next one? Uh, Three twelve, Colossians. Put on therefore as the elect of God, elect bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. What's wrong with that? Anything? I, you, you see anything wrong with that? No. Not, not, not that I know you can't. You, and if you did, you know, you, it's like, okay, what do you mean? You, you got something wrong with the scripture. But what, what, anything unique about it? I like the fact is that as the elect of God. Yeah. You know? Holy, holy and beloved. Holy and beloved. The pieces, the pieces that is more this, this of, of, of God's peace is elect of God. See, holy people are going to challenge you on your holiness, right? But it's the holiness of God, of course. But the other piece is beloved of God. Yeah. 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 Bowels of mercy. Kindness. I mean, that's what people are looking for. Yeah. And that's what they're looking for from God. And we're ambassadors. We was a point to it. Him. That's all I'm trying to say. I want to, we want to point toward him. They, they want to see that in him. And they're only going to see it through what? The ambassador. That's you. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're the one that shows that you're the elect of God. You're holy. You're holy because of him. You be loved by him. And he will be loved that person if they want to come and receive him. And you have, he has, what? Hey, oh man, I think we talked about one time before. Sometimes we've been good at portraying God as a guy sitting on the throne with a stick in his hand and gonna knock you in the head. Oh. <laughs> what? I, I, what? I mean, that that is, that's being taught. Woo! That that is being taught. That has been taught. Yeah. Uh, there's a whole lot of things of God that the Bible doesn't give one attribute view for of, of God being that way. Um, but it's being taught. Yeah. And now we see why people walk away from, right? The other one, and that's why you see the greeters being it. You talk, you say, talking about the church buildings, right? That's why. They